This is not your average e-bike. This is a premium level conversion that I previously built on the channel. And the bike I use for this conversion is a super aggressive looking top of the line race spec hardtail. This bike is fitted with the CYC X1 Pro Gen 4 mid-drive motor. This crazy little motor is insanely powerful. It's so powerful that it needs its own dedicated drivetrain system to be able to handle 285 newton meters of torque at the rear wheel. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! This rear wheel has been rebuilt and relaced to incorporate this HD drivetrain today. And this is going to be the first time testing to see whether this thing can handle the insane amount of power. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, come for a ride with me now today and see what this bike's about, why I'm not recommending this bike to everyone. Despite on paper this being the most, probably one of the most serious bits of kit in the world in terms of electric e-bike conversions, this thing is the closest thing you can get to motocross and dirt bike level acceleration on a mountain bike. <laughs> Despite that, I'm giving this bike away to one of my lucky subscribers and I recommend you do not enter the giveaway unless you have seen this bike and you hear what I've got to say about it and what it can do. I mean, take for example now, we've got a 2000 watt e-bike next to us, which for most experienced riders, I would say is more than enough power. Lou, if you could demonstrate now, full power. This thing will do 30, 40 miles an hour, and it is more than enough for most people. Let me demonstrate to you the different level that this thing is on. I'm feeling quite generous, Lou. What do you reckon I should give you a two, three second head start? Go on then, off you go. One, two, roll the power on a little bit. Not even trying. I've even come off the throttle. Back on, see you later. Ah! <laughs> so that, let's go around that way. So that wasn't even full throttle, full gear change. We're going to be doing that later in the video, seeing whether the HD drivetrain can handle this insane amount of power. And as much as people say, oh, that's a motorbike now, I disagree. I agree it's got motorbike levels of power, but it's still a bicycle. I don't know what planet of people are on nowadays where they identify things as random things. That's fine. I'm a snag. But this isn't a motorbike. It's just got motorbike levels of acceleration on a mountain bike, because I live in the real world and this is just what it is. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's have one little blast, Lou. You ready? On your 2000 watt? Sorry, mate. Ha -ha. Ah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's a crazy thing. I'm an experienced rider, full car license, full motorbike license. I'm not a drug dealer. I learned to ride cars and motorbikes at around 10, 11 years old. I've got a lot of experience and it doesn't mean I'm not accident prone. It can happen to anyone, but like, I am more dangerous on my fully road legal MT09 motorbike by a long mile. <laughs> Yet people wouldn't bat an eyelid about that. Such an angry, angry sound. Y'all to test me, big fish and take a group of y'all to catch me. I draw quicker when it start getting sketchy. A bunch of them think they hard, just edgy. I put my heart in this, it's heavy, but my palms ain't sweaty. My feet stand steady, it's ugly, but I'm sharp like Freddy. This ain't a dream. They put on the mask in front of the mask. I know it's steam to see how I'm working. Did it my way, then that's a thing of you. Shine a little harder when they mean mug you. I'm just getting started. But... Right, guys, we have done the two kilowatt test 
against the X1 and I've always wanted to know what would a car be like. That a standard is 80 brake horsepower, this is 8 brake horsepower. You know, obviously there's a weight difference. It's very interesting what will happen. I have absolutely no idea. Without further ado, I say we just send these things. We've got a row cone over here and we've just kind of guessed the distance somewhere up there. There's a row cone all the way up the street there. And I imagine we'll be doing like 30, 40, maybe. That's the sort of range we want to get in. We don't want to do nothing crazy on the roads. I say we just get the cameras on and send it and see what happens. But before we do that, I say we do a quick sound test to see which one sounds better. Right, starting off with the X1 sound check. I'd say Jack's won that one. I do like the way the X1 sounds, but I think you got me on that one, Jack. <laughs> right, well, let's see if we can put anything back and... Um, Send it, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> one and one. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have given him an easy start. I think Jack's happy to uh, pull one back and a look of smug and smugness and happiness on his face. All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Next one takes it. <laughs> Sportsman. <laughs> That's actually quite fun having the uh, sporty engine sound alongside you. Right guys, we are over Hadley Bike Park. It is absolutely freezing cold, windy, minus three today. Can't feel my fingers, but we're not gonna let that stop us. We're gonna send it up some final hill tests. We can try starting it slightly lower gear. We're gonna try and demonstrate the power a bit more and the torque for getting up hills. And we're gonna smash through some of the final hill sends at full power and see if this HE drivetrain survives because the first time round on my first X1 build I did it on a standard bike cassette and we absolutely annihilated it on the first day. So we'll see with the HD drivetrain cassette, will it survive? And do I recommend this kit? We're about to find out. First demonstration, I'm starting in the middle of the gear set in gear three out of the five gears you get on the HD drivetrain. And that, I want to show that that's more than enough and you don't need to be in the lowest gear and full throttle. That's a very steep, very bumpy, terrible traction hill in front of us. We can pretty much go walking speed and this thing has got more than enough torque to just sensibly climb a really steep icy incline. Oh, the pedal assist kicking me in the ass. So I've got loads of power if I want it. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna show you that I can control the throttle at this speed at any point if I wanted to. I could go faster. This is not struggling in the slightest. You can hear the motor's barely working. And then if I wanted to send it, easy. I think it's quite important to demonstrate that that this has got the power but it's controlled. As you can see around us, look, look at them lads going up that hill. Young fit lads, struggling. We're gonna go up that now, and them lads are just falling over. <laughs> it's so steep. One of them poor lads is fucking falling over. Can't see where I'm going. It's all going wrong today. All right, start moving then. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, 
Oh, I can't even keep the power on this thing. It's just going to loop out. <sighs> Little lad's like, how many watts is it? I was like, 6,000. He's like, is it actually? Like, I don't even need to change gear. This is just stupid. Run up the top of the hill, Lou. Try and beat me up the hill. Oh, front end's coming up. Yeah. I just can't keep the power on. You just can't. Even if I stick in one gear then, the front end's popping up in the air. This thing is an absolute beast. So I have been giving this full power sends, full, full power gear changes, which you shouldn't really do on a, on a mid-drive this power pull. I've been doing some absolutely awful gear changes at full throttle. I put this thing for its paces quite a bit over the last three days on and off camera. I'm coming a little bit closer now and have a look at the gear cassette. So there's a bit of paint missing. I mean, I did an awful gear change and completely jammed the chain and unfortunately scratched the bike here. It's a bit of a bummer. Um, fully jammed it up at full throttle. Probably down to just the radio needing tweaking and my absolutely terrible gear changes. But having said that, this is still like fully working. It's fully survived. Complete and utter abuse from a bit of a pleb like me who can't change gear properly. I'm impressed. 100% if this was a standard Shimano SRAM or whatever else, I think we would have cassettes like last time that are just the teeth are bent and annihilated. <laughs> this thing this thing just scares me it's just you never know quite when it's going to literally launch you into oblivion <laughs> this bike is way past my ability i still stand by what i say i really think people should think twice about buying this kit and about entering the raffle but if you are experiencing some way as a motorbike rider have done some motocross just are familiar with power whether it's road bikes whatever if you want power there is nothing better on the market in the entire world than the cycx1 the quality is there the power is just terrifying like, i can't even demonstrate full send on this thing i just can't even get the power down i'm going to put the link up for the raffle if you're experienced and want the best you can get in the world in mid-drive electric mountain bikes this thing is the one check out cyc's website they do obviously the X1 Pro Gen 4, 6,000 watts, various different options, but all of their kits are absolutely pucker bits of kit. Steve completely forgot to finish the outro. He was actually here for another four and a half hours. This was meant to be the outro. Steve? Steve? Ah, heck. Maybe we should just leave him to it. Major head rush, gone dizzy. <laughs> Rumor has it, he's still here to this day. Thanks for watching, guys. <sighs> I just... It just... Like, even with... You can't... Right over the bars. Let me know if you want to see that in a future video.